Today we're opening Konami's newest product, the secret utility box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening. In this video we have not one, but two secret utility boxes. These boxes were sent to me by Yugi Market and they also sent me a note, so let's check it out. Hi Rux and thank you for trusting us. Here's a little more information about this product. This might help you for your video. It will, because I don't know a whole lot about this. It's very new, so uh, this will help. Every year around Christmas time, Konami Japan releases some limited boxes for OCG fans. It always follows two patterns. It has to be gotcha, you'll never know what you get inside, as well as having a theme for the products inside. This year it's named Secret Utility Box and the theme is Archetype, so you have six possibilities for what's inside. Depending on the archetype you have in the box, it will be followed by two secret rare cards, a pack of 100 sleeves, a storage box, a deck box, a field center, a dice, and four secret utility box special packs of 10 cards. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in each of these. That's actually kind of lit. This set, Sub 1, has a total of 80 different cards. If you're familiar with the product, we can only hope that you will get what you're looking for. I'm not super familiar, so I don't really know what I'm looking for, except I know there's a Dark Magician fusion in here, a new one. So I'm, I, that's what I want to get. We're super excited to see your video and see how your community receives it and us. So go check out Yugi Market. I will have them linked in the description. If you guys want to get OCG products, that's where you get them, and that's where I get them from. So if you ever want to check them out, go check it out. They're the same people who sent us those uh, ones for the Starlight Blue Eyes as well. In today's video, the giveaway is everything we pull, all the accessories, all the cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about OCG product versus TCG product. What do you like about this? What do you think TCG does better or OCG does better and vice versa? Okay, let's just crack into this thing. I'm actually pretty excited because there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Like I know access codes in here. And then of course the new Dark Magician Fusion is going to be crazy and i always love sleeves and like dye and stuff like that there's some really good accessories as well this box is shaped just like the uh prismatic god box if you guys remember that go check that out if you guys missed that video i spent like 500 bucks on three of them and now they're like 75 bucks each or something i got completely scammed it, it was bad so i didn't really get scammed i just overpaid for them but so sometimes i say stuff like i got scammed and people think i'm being serious and they're like that's not a scam man you just pay too much it's like yeah i know i'm just just kidding guys okay so let me just clarify there okay now let's check out the artwork that other part was really shiny this is a little bit more matte the, the shiny stuff doesn't work well with the lights and everything in here uh very cool what are we looking at here this kind of reminds me of like pokemon these like little mini things right here they look really cool anything else we got some okay you can read japanese there you go i don't know what it says it probably says something about you know i don't know konami license i don't know Let's just open this up. Okay, inside this, we have another box. There's there's three different boxes. You go box, into box, into box. So it's like opening a Christmas gift, you know, one of those meme ones. That's what this feels like. But I will say that this looks absolutely incredible. Official card game dual monsters. Why does OCG get everything, guys? I don't know, but that's why you should check out Yugi Market because you guys can grab stuff there because if you do want the cool stuff, the OCG we know has it. So uh, go ahead and grab it. Let's see what we can actually get. Oh, there's a Chaos Dragon. What is it? The Magical Ruler of Dragons or something like that. I think I added a couple words there, but pretty cool looking. There's our packs. Then we have a deck divider thing, which is really cool, I, or field center. I also usually use these for deck dividers, so I guess that's technically not what it is. But you know what? That's what I use it for, okay? Then we have some, wow, check out these sleeves. There's a lot in here, too. Are there 60, maybe? We got our, so you get the same, is it, I wonder how many different sleeves they have. It might have said in that note, and I forgot, but it's the same card we got there. I don't know if that's a coincidence or if that happens every time. Then a really cool looking die. That is pretty amazing. Let's take this thing out. We're not keeping it sealed. I can add this to my collection of way too many dice. This is uh, pretty sick. So I guess these are like all, this is like the symbols. So you can get all these different ones. So that was on the other box, wasn't it? There's too many boxes. It's hard to keep up with, but that's a really cool die. Is this a deck box? Wait, we got to open this thing up. All right, let's check this out. This, uh, so you have to like, you have to like build this thing. This is insane. All right, this is this is crazy. Why am I putting this together? Yeah, I forgot. I'm giving these away. I'm not putting this thing together. This is gonna be that's gonna make it harder to ship. Okay, we're putting this back in the box. Okay, but you guys can win this and figure out how to put it together yourself. Okay, I'm not doing it for you. Okay, we'll kind of show these off in the back. Those actually look really nice. Those are really awesome sleeves. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sucker for accessories. I am a big fan, especially if they're like guaranteed. That's really cool. So here's our uh, secret packs. We got four of those. Then you get these. We're gonna see what I think. There's two cards in here. So let's see what our other card was. First is the chaotic magical dragon of dragons or whatever. I think I'm getting it mixed up with the dark magician, which is new. That's something about the chaotic magical dragon or something. I don't know. And then, oh, a guardian chimera. Those are two really, really nice cards right there. The card stock, you can just feel it is super quality. It's like, 
Feels like it's twice as thick as a regular TCG card, which is really awesome. All right, time to open our packs. Let's see what we get from our secret utility pack. We do have a whole other box to open as well. So we've got several packs to open today. I'm excited to see what we can get. OCG quality cards. I'm sure they're going to be nice and uh, crisp. I don't know if you can do a pack trick, so we're just going to go through it. We have a card that I don't know what it is, but it is secret. What is it? No, just parallel rarity, not secret parallel rarity. We've got a creepy Pokemon looking dude. We've got the, oh, the torn scales, ragged gloves or something like that. Uh, a dog with a mullet. Uh, we've got a genie that's very scary. We've got another Pokemon looking dude. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh looking dude for sure. That they, I'm going Gear Gear on that one. We've got, oh, this is the Dark Magician. The Dark Magician, the Cursed Dragon of Cursed Dragons or something like that. Okay, Dark Magician, the Magical Knight of Dragons. I knew it was something like that. We pulled it in the first pack. That's insane. Check out that artwork. That's so cool. It's basically Gaia, except they replaced Gaia with Dark Magician. That's pretty cool. I think we get another secret rare as well. No, wait, no, we don't. We get two supers. So that was actually an insane pull because there's a bunch of different ones of these. So I don't know how hard it is to get, but I know pulling it in the first pack is pretty amazing. And you guys can win this. That is such a cool card. I really hope we get that in the TCG. I'm sure we will eventually in like super rare or something. <laughs> also pretty sure that's a Gear Geo guy, I think. Okay, that's a sick pull. We pulled like literally the card I wanted to pull the most. So we'll put him back there. That's pretty amazing. First pack. Uh, there's also some other cool stuff, but... That was the card I was really chasing for. So good start. Uh, let's see if we can pull another one. That would be pretty awesome. And don't forget, these are uh, all up for giveaway for you guys. Here we go. We have Neos Fusion, I believe. We got the Pendulum Arc V Dragon or whatever it's called. Uh, the Yadagarasu. That's pretty sick. Uh, okay, that's an evil eye card, I think. I think. There's an, an, an evil looking eye on a person, so I, I got to be right. Okay, we've got the uh, Dark Magical Circle. Very cool. Whoa, what is this? I don't know this card, but it looks sick. Okay, this is Armed Neos, which is actually sick. I think this is a new card as well. Armed Neos. We've got, uh, oh, that's a uh, Blackwing card, I think. Armed Neos. So we pull the first two cards listed back to back. Are these like guaranteed or something? I guess we'll find out because we have two boxes. Uh, I don't think they are, but I think we just got kind of lucky. All right, we'll take it. I'm down. That's that's pretty sick. We got the Arm Neos and we got the Dark Magician Magical Knight of Dragons. Okay, what else can we get? So far, some pretty amazing pulls. We got the, oh, a Marine Neos, I think is his name. That looks like a Wind Witch or, is that what they're called? Witchcrafter, not Wind Witch. Uh, that's a different thing, I think. Uh, we got the Fluffle Penguin. We've got uh, that zombie looking dude. I, he's in another card. What's his name? I don't remember. Oh, wow. White Stone of Ancients. That's a sick looking version of that card. And it shines right in the middle of the uh, of the stone. That's really cool. Okay, so it's definitely not like in order or anything like that. We just got super lucky on our first two packs. That's a really cool version too if you want to play your Blue Eyes White Dragons, which I know all you guys want to play those Blue Eyes White Dragons. If you don't, I'm questioning you for real. All right, secret utility box. So far, this is such a cool product. Like, I wish we would get products like this. You just get a few packs that have really cool, like, reprints, and then a couple of new cards. And then you got all these really cool accessories that are guaranteed in each box. Pretty sick. It feels like Japan. It's like the value of, of their products. It's like you get such good stuff out of them, which we're going in the right direction with uh, Magnificent Mavens with the sleeves and everything. So hopefully that'll continue. We got Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Time Seal. That's weird that Time Seal is a reprint. We've got a... Moon pie? I don't know what that is. We've got this guy. We've got that guy. We've got, oh. What is this card? Why do I think this is a Preta plant card? It is a Preta plant. I am too good. I knew it. Preta plant. Let me read this name. Trifio Veritum. Okay, Trifio Veritum. Okay. That is a cool card. Uh, I knew that it was a Preta plant. I, I'm taking credit for that. And then, what is this? The Joker? Something Joker. Yeah, it was banned for a while, or limited. I think it was limited. Okay, that seemed like a crazy box. Like, we pulled some really amazing stuff. Got another one. Okay, here's what I was gonna say earlier. I think that you get one of these six. So, like, last time on the die, it seemed to match... No, this one. They all look the same. Yeah, there we go. I, I can't match. I was not good in preschool. Okay, those match. So, I guess you get one of these six, and then you get the sleeves. So, there's probably six different sleeves, stuff like that. All right, we've got another one. Here's the X-Men symbol. Okay, let's flip it over. What else is this? The official Guard Game Duel Monsters. Very cool. Which one is this? It's blue, so it looks like a different one. Oh, let's go. We got the Zeus. And also, I didn't even mention this earlier. I just almost knocked the cards over. They have blue text, so it's like a special blue text rarity. Uh, the Zeus Prismatic Secret Blue Text. This looks fire. 
this looks amazing i love the look of zeus in general because the artwork and then like when you add a cool rarity to it i mean that is awesome are we gonna get sleeves like this i really hope so okay let's open and see what our second one is here we got stuff all over the place there's just a lot of accessories a lot of different cards it's fun it's awesome but everything's going everywhere let's see what our second card is so first it's zeus which looks amazing and our dark honest not divine honest but okay honest not as cool as the zeus but it's hard to really top the zeus this is one of my favorite like new school cards i think at some point i'm going to get the starlight it's taken me a while i'm procrastinating it's very expensive but i think i'm gonna make it happen at some point so that those are some pretty cool cards i think zeus is my favorite then probably this one garden cam is pretty cool as well because it's actually good and then the dark honest all really really awesome okay then we have our deck box which i will not be uh opening up but it looks pretty clean i like the look of it then we have our field center slash card divider if you're me it looks like transformers i really like the blue and gold look it looks amazing and then we have a die which looks really cool it's like see-through basically which looks awesome this thing looks really great yeah that looks awesome i really like the look of this it's close between transparent translucent almost you know it's, it looks like both but p tell me in the comments which one do you prefer which one do you like better i i like this one i think it looks really dope and then finally we got to finish with something amazing the zoo sleeves they got the blue tint to them this looks like a transformers card like a transformers like Yu-Gi-Oh card except better it looks awesome these look so good i mean they, these look great but this is just next level those are really incredible and then we got our four packs so it's not over yet this is a really cool product i am this is pretty cool so if you guys want to pick some of these up you guys can check out yugi market i will have the link down below these are really cool really cool that is a uh, raid raptor card i know that uh dad don't know that one that's the the pokemon at it again the genie guy plague spreader zombie you're getting a cool rarity we've got i'm sure it probably already had that but i don't know uh, another pokemon and there's the Predator plan again. So, hmm, interesting. Are we going to get the same cards? We're going to have to find out how this works. Okay, I think I read this earlier, but there's 12 different ones of these. I did read this. You get two out of 12 of these cards, of the blue text. But then there's also 12 different Prismatic Secrets in here. So, there's not a whole lot of different ones, but there's only four packs. So, you're, not, you're only going to get four out of 12. So, it's not guaranteed that you get anything good. You probably would need like three boxes on average to get everything, but then you probably get dupes and all that stuff. So that looks like a Predator Plant card. We got a uh, Ragged Gloves. That's what it is. A uh, V-Arc, something like that. Wind Witch, maybe Witch Bell. We got a Gear Gear. So we are getting a lot of the same parallel rares, it seems. And then what is this one? We've got a, a Rocket Guy. That's got to be a Rocket card. I mean, I'm not even going to question that. It's definitely a Rocket card. And then the Pendulum Joker Guy. We definitely got lucky on that first box. We're not pulling those great secret rares anymore, but that's okay. Maybe we can finish it off with one of them. Get the Dark Magician Fusion again, or the Neos Fusion. Both good options. We've got, this is definitely like a, a Pendulum Draco Slayer or something like that. Um, let's see. Ooh, that's a Gem Knight. I know, Gem Knight Diamond, maybe. This is the card that's in the Nordic Structure deck. This card's annoying because it brings out Odin, I think. Or it facilitates Odin. Dark Magician Circle, Mar Magical Circle, Fluffle Penguin. And there it is, the Neos. We got the Neos again. That's sick. So they're not crazy hard to pull. They're, and so I guess these can all be super rares as well um we get the uh so we've only gotten the high rarity ones we haven't gotten the, the super rare versions of those that's pretty sick so it's not like crazy hard to get what you're looking for in here which is both good and bad you know if it's, it's bad because if you're trying to pull something like hard to pull and make it hard or whatever but it's great if you really just want the card you know which is what most people actually want we have Blackwing Chris, the Crack of Dawn. I know that. Marine Neos, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. We've got a creepy looking person there. We've got a Synchro Monster that I don't know. The Zombie Guy. And will it be? No, it's not the Dark Magic. Oh, is the Dark Magician. I thought that was it. Okay. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Is this, is that Galaxy S Photon Dragon? This is called Last Hope Numbers. Okay, pretty cool. And then, oh, there's a Dark Magician. That's a super rare. Cool. So we did get it. We got it in both forms, super and prismatic secret rare. That's pretty awesome. So we got all the cards we were really looking for out of here. That's awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Don't forget to enter the giveaway because I'm giving away all of these cards. And if you guys want to know where the giveaways are announced, the YouTube community tab on my channel, check it out down below and see if you guys want it. I've just announced a bunch of them recently. Also, if someone is commenting down below and says they're from Telegram and they want to give you a giveaway, it's fake. I'm saying that again for the hundredth time, not because it's your fault, but because they won't get rid of these scammers on YouTube. So just ignore them. If you see them in the comments, tell people not that, that they do not, they need to ignore them. I block them all the time, but then they just come back. They're like little insects. So 
Make them stop. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.